Hi guys! So I have a little haul for you today. My housemate sister works at Superdrug in the headquarters. So my housemate has a employee discount card that her sister gave to her. And so she lent it to me today and I bought quite a few things. Okay, so one of the first things I picked up was this. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in blush. And I wanted to try blush because there was only this one left on the shelf. And it smelled nicer than the tropical one. And I've been eyeing this for a while now. So I wanted to give it a go. The VO5 Styling Spray Heat Protect Create. So it says this helps protect hair against heat damage from regular blow drying and heat styling. Contains a heat activated complex to make styling easier and quicker. Calms frizz, static and flyaways. And provides long lasting frizz free shine. So hopefully this will be really good. I got a couple of packets of nail files or large emery boards. They were on buy one get one half price. So there's four in each packet and there's quite a lot. So I might just keep one pack for me and then split three and put them in prizes. So I also picked up a small bottle of tea tree blended oil. This is just Super Jug own brand and it comes in a little glass bottle like this. And it's actually got a quite wide opening which I'm a little bit upset about because I don't want to be using that much tea tree oil each time so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that I'll just have to use it carefully. They do sell tea tree oil in its purest form on the shelf as well in a 5 milliliter bottle size this is 10 milliliters but obviously with that you'd have to dilute it because you can't just apply it that straight to your skin. So buying the blended oil really suits me because I can just put it straight onto the cotton wool and straight onto my face. I've been eyeing up some new mascara as well. So I got some really low market ones. So they're both Collection 2000. This is Magi Length Mascara. And I also got Volume Sensation. Both in Ultra Black number 17. I haven't actually opened these to check the brushes don't want to open them yet so we'll see how those go. Have you ever seen Benefit's blue lip gloss? I can't remember what it's called. It's supposed to make your teeth look whiter because of the blue on your lips so I saw this and immediately had to get it because it was blue lip gloss. This is from a brand called Elite and it's Smarty Gloss and they had loads of different brightly coloured glosses so they had orange, yellow, green, pink, purple and blue and I really like the blue. They look all like kind of like test tubey things. They're like all the colours of lollipops that people eat. So I got some eyelashes too. I got these Natural Lights Eye Lure ones. These are for the anniversary limited edition, their 60th anniversary and I really liked the style that they had. I tried some of these before. I think I tried the 117s, these are number 60 and the 117s were really good and I didn't take very good care of them so I only managed to wear them twice which sucked a little bit so I hopefully I can take better care of these and of course the new Girls Allowed eyelashes came out so I bought one pair I bought the Nicola ones I really liked these because they're really like feathered out and then you've got like the the tapered effect around them too so you've got they're shorter at the inside and longer on the outside, which is really nice. I only saw three pairs. I think there was Nicola, Nadine and Cheryl's. And I didn't like the other two as much as I like Nicola's. So I only bought one pair and I bought Nicola because I liked the feathered natural look of the lashes. So I bought three things from Gosh. And the first thing I picked up was the Gosh Velvet Touch Foundation Primer. Now, this looks amazing. Apparently it's so good. I was talking to Lindy and Helen last night and they were telling me how much they really like it. And Lindy was saying how it's almost as good as Laneige, etc. So I'm really excited to try this. Helen's actually also done a review on this, so I shall put the link in the description box. So please check it out. Actually, another quick thing that I'd like to say about this is that I saw about six or seven and the tester they looked quite old because all the makeup all the primer inside was sort of a brown color it wasn't clear and I don't know whether that's because it's for like darker skin compared to the clear version or anything but 
it looked like it was oxidised and it didn't look like it should be on sale so I got the clear version and hopefully it won't go off. It does say it's got 12 months shelf life on it so should be okay. And then I bought a white coal eyeliner. This is also from Gosh. So I can do the waterline of my eyes to make them look a bit bigger because I have quite small eyes. Not as small as some people's eyes but I don't actually have a white pencil so I'm thinking this should be good. And I was looking at getting fascinating eye coal from MAC but it's really expensive because it's MAC and I didn't want to waste money on something that I can get a bit cheaper and that wouldn't give me that much of a different effect, if you know what I mean. I did actually walk past MAC today. It wasn't a MAC store, it was a MAC counter because in the town that I went to they only have a MAC counter. But I was really tempted to walk in but then my friend dragged me away. Which I'm really thankful for because I don't have the money to spend on it at the moment. And the last gosh item I got was the Light and Shine lip glaze. This thing is really cool because not only does it have a mirror on the side, when you open it, it's got these lights that shine directly on the wand. So when you apply it on your lips, you probably can't tell because of the sun shining, the light shines onto your lips and then you can see exactly what you're doing, which is such a good idea, especially if you're old enough to go clubbing and you're in a club or if you're in a party and it's a dark place like a disco and the lights are really down low and you can't see and there's no point going to the bathroom just for the mirror so you've got your own mirror and your lights it's amazing I really like this and found on film Sarah I think her name is she's just bought some as well and done a review on it so I did actually check this out yesterday before I went to Gosh today. I knew I wanted to get it when I saw Lollipop 26 with one before. So the colour I got is in number 5. If I just swatch it for you. It's this really nice sort of pink with sort of a lilac-y pink shimmery undertone. I really like it. I think it'll go really nice on my lips. The last makeup item I bought from me was actually from H&M and it's a Hello Kitty makeup item but it wasn't because it was Hello Kitty. If I just show you, this is amazing, it's five eyeshadows and the eyeshadows are unbelievably sparkly. You probably can't tell but you don't understand how sparkly these are. They're amazing. They're all packed with silver shimmer and it's just brilliant. I hope you can see that. The shades are called Aloha Lagoon and I think that's really cute. I've actually bought some along with a few other little bits for contest prizes. I'm still thinking on this contest so please 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 be patient with me. I want to give everyone a fair chance so I want to make this a really really good contest. And I've only got one more essay due in which is on Tuesday so once that's out of the way I can just make videos till my heart's content and everything and I can't wait. So I didn't get a chance to open or swatch these in the shop. So this is going to be my very first reaction. So let's try this turquoise first. It's rather pigmented. I'm liking this. It's so shimmery. I love it. Okay. Then the dark pink. Ooh, that's nice. And then the light. This is sort of like an icy pink. They're really nice together. So is the dark pink and blue actually. It's kind of like what I've got on my eye right now, if you can tell. And then you've got like a silvery grey, that one. And then a white. Oh, I love I like them all. They're all so shimmery and gorgeous and pretty and quite pigmented, so I'm really pleased that I got this. I can't wait to give out the prizes now. It does come with these two sponge tip applicators, but they'll probably just stay in there and never get used. So I think the reason why they're so shimmery is because the main ingredient is actually mica. It does have a couple of parabens in it, but that doesn't bother me too much. I hope it doesn't bother you guys. I don't really know what the deal with parabens is, so if anyone would like to tell me, please comment below. Because I've tried to look it up on the internet and it's really confusing. I hope you guys are having a great weekend at the moment. And I shall see you guys really soon. Alright, bye! 
I wanted a white light eyeliner so I can do the um what do you call it? <laughs> so I can what what's it called? The waterline. Yes, that's what it's called. Whee! These are emery boards. Maybe I should swatch these. 